Yo everybody, what is going on guys? Today it's going to be average here at the Sports HQ. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. By the way guys, last vid we got 5 likes, I asked for 10. If we could hit 10 this vid, that would be great. Um, I'm going to try to push out 3 vids this week. Hopefully I can get all that done today, tomorrow, whatnot. But anyways guys, I put a poll up on Twitter. I said, what kind of sleepers do you guys want? I said quarterback, wide receiver, halfback, and halfback did win, but I've been trying out a couple halfbacks and just hated absolutely every single one of them. I found all of these gold halfbacks that were selling for like 800 coins, and there's a reason they're selling for 800 coins, guys. They're just trash. But for the wide receiver portion, I thought that would be the easiest to do because actually I did have a wide receiver I've had set up for quite some time now. It's McBride, 66 overall, guys. Trey McBride is one of the best cards I have used in Madden 17. Let's get a quick comparison right now. Vincent Jackson probably has the best catching on the team. Let's compare him to Brandon Cooks because Brandon Cooks is pretty athletic. So Trey McBride, guys, has an 88 speed, 84 catch, 78 elusiveness, 81 spectacular catch, 79 release, and an 84 jump. So... That's a pretty athletic wide receiver, if you ask me. So guys, I hope you guys are just as hyped for this card as I am. Let's get straight to the gameplay portion. All right, so I have not yet played this week's um, <clears throat> Gatorade contract pack challenge, and what better team to play against than the Seattle Seahawks. So we got our season mode team out here from Ultimate Team, um, Cardell Jones and that. We're going to send McBride going deep because we see they're playing that press coverage. We're going to test them. I told you guys, McBride. 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 That's it. That's it. That's that's game. Touchdown. That's that's it. That's all I got to show you guys. That's all I got to show. No, I'm just kidding. But you saw that play, right? Remember Richard Sherman, best corner in the game? Yeah, he was on the ground back there. About 15 yards back, just laying there. Earl Thomas had to catch up with us because those guys are a mistake. I'm never going to forget that. Richard Sherman is no longer the best corner in the game. He just got exposed by a 66 overall silver. Remember that. Remember that. All right. Uh, so that one play just wasn't enough, guys, obviously. <laughs> like, I'm not just going to show you guys one play and tell you, hey, add him on your lineup. We're going to get some genuine proof right here, guys. I'm restarting the match. We're going to expose Richard Sherman one more time. Hit him with the slant on the inside. You see that footwork? He can't catch him. He can't catch him. All right, he caught him. He he ankle yanked him, but we're good. All right, guys, so I went on the auction block, and I literally picked up Carson Palmer because Cardell Jones was having such a hard time just getting the ball there. So hopefully now that I have Carson Palmer, you guys can see that he will get open every time. You just have to have a running back. That'll get the ball there. This isn't the same play as earlier, as you can tell. That's just you got to have a good quarterback. Carson Palmer to McBride will be unstoppable. I guarantee you. It's unbeatable. You can't stop it. All right, so we're back on offense. Richard Sherman. Sherman. Yeah, Sherman Ultra Soft, because that's what he is. He's soft right now. He's going to try to D us back up. We're wide across the middle. McBride on the on the seven. All right, let's flip it up. Go left. McBride curl in the end zone. Let's get it. Game right here. All right, they're going to get in on that. Triple team with the perfect ball. That was the most perfect pass I have seen in my entire life, or at least my entire time playing Madden, guys. That was beautiful. That was triple coverage. I was just forcing in there for fun of the video. I thought that was easily picked off. All right, guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed playing with um, McBride because he's just one of my favorite players to use. In case you guys wanted to know, um, I have used him multiple times in head-to-head -head games while I still had Cardell Jones. So the quarterback doesn't affect it too much, but you definitely want someone who's going to be able to lead you. Like last year, I know that John Elway was a really good card to have for vertical threat wide receivers. But yeah, Carson Palmer I would definitely go with if you're looking for a cheap quarterback that will be able to lead your wide receivers deep. As always, guys, I hope you guys have already hit the like button. If not, make sure to do so. Make sure to drop a comment. I'm not seeing a whole lot of comments lately. 
I would love to read your guys' comments. And always, guys, we just hit two, 200 subscribers flat. Let's keep going up. Thank you guys for watching.